Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. And welcome back to Mass Effect 2. This is Hill here. And we are on deck for Engineering of the Normandy. And Kelly, Yeoman Chambers, has just told us that Tally is extremely upset about some news she's received. And we're going down here, rushing down here, to see what's the matter. Tally! Shepard, I'm glad you came by. I may need your help. I just received a message from the migrant fleet. The Admiralty Board has accused me of treason. I'm scared, Shepard. What? Treason? What are the charges? Is it because you're working with Cerberus? I'm not working with Cerberus. I'm working with you. And I got leave to serve on the Normandy again. I have no idea what they're accusing me of. You'd think I would remember if I betrayed the fleet. Yeah, they're crazy. Nobody who knows you could believe you'd betray your people, Tally. I don't know. They don't lay charges like this unless the evidence seems absolute. But thanks. I appreciate your faith in me, Shepard. Let's ask what's the next step. What happens when a Quarian is accused of treason? There's a hearing with members of the Admiralty Board acting as judges. My father is an admiral on the board. He'll have to recuse himself from judgment. I can't even imagine what he's thinking right now. The punishment for treason is exile. If they convict me, I can never go back. Let's ask how common this is. How often is someone from the fleet charged with treason? It's rare. It must be something that affects the entire flotilla, not just one ship. The most recent one was Anora Vanya Vassalani, an engineer who handed over fleet defense schematics to the Batarians. She had good intentions. The Batarians were contracted to upgrade our systems, but they passed the defense schematics to a pirate gang. Let's ask what happened to her. Was she convicted? No. She made a suicide run on the pirate gang. She destroyed them before they could attack the fleet. She was pardoned, posthumously. Let's hope I don't have to prove my innocence that way. Yes, let's hope not. Um, let's ask about the punishment. What happens if you're convicted? Like I said, exile. The specifics are up to the judges. If it's deemed only a tragic mistake in judgment, the guilty party might receive a small ship and supplies. Not that it really matters. Either way, if I'm convicted, I'll never see the migrant fleet again. Hmm. Let's comment on how exile is an odd choice. So no prison and no death penalty? We don't have the spare resources for long-term incarceration. Monitored work detail is more effective. And we don't have enough people to afford executions. An exile can still have children, and those children are welcomed back to the fleet. Let's ask about the nature of the charges. So you have no idea why they're accusing you? None. The specifics of charges like this are rarely discussed on open channels. I won't know any more until I get to the flotilla. Let's ask about the trial procedure. So how does the trial work? How soon do we need to get you there? They'll wait a reasonable period of time for me to come and defend myself. Eventually, if I don't show up, they'll try me in absentia. As for how it works, it's less formal than an Earth trial or something you'd see on the Citadel. We're family. This is just the worst kind of family meeting. Okay, this looks like it. And of course, Shepard will help because of his close relationship and admiration for Tally. Okay, let's go find the flotilla. I was going to book passage on another ship. I didn't think there would be time for you to help. Thank you, Shepard. I'll program the Normandy with the flotilla's current location. The admirals will be waiting for us. Alright, so we now have another loyalty mission to travel to the migrant fleet. Let's go. Oh, while we're down here, let's just uh, see what Jack is up to. Is there any other uh, conversations going on here? I need to get to Pragia, Shepard. 
soon. Okay. I'll think about that. Meanwhile, I have to go. Yep. All right. The Telton facility on Pragia, and she wants to blow it up. Yes, we got that. Okay, so I think we've got all of the quests. Um, unfortunately, you know, I've been really attentive to those fish up in the captain's cabin. We'll just go up there right now, but um, after the last mission, I went up here and they were all dead. All of them. And I've been feeding them. So, I have my answer. Kelly has not offered to feed the fish. So, we, we still have that to do. Still need to have conversation with her. And, I guess I need to go back to the Citadel and get more fish. Um, anything else? How may I help you, Commander? Uh, what about the crew? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? Oh, thank goodness. That'll be all. Yes, Commander. All right, uh... All right, so, before we went down to talk to Tally, I had the, pos the ship positioned in the Skepsis Cluster. And you can see it's at 100%, so we've mined and explored all of the planets. We have the planet Pauling, the planet Kimowitz, the planet Wallace, the planet Darwin, the planet Crick the planet Franklin, and the planet Watson. And we are here, as you can see, to stop the missile attack. All right. Let's go ahead. Okay, well, we've attacked, we detected the anomaly earlier, and scans detect an Alliance colony defended by a Javelin Mark II missile base. A distress signal indicates that the base is compromised by Batarians who have launched two missiles at the Alliance colony. Total destruction of the colony is imminent. Zero probability of survivors if missiles strike. Find the control panel in the Javelin Mark II missile base. Time of impact calculated. Landing party will have five minutes to deactivate the missiles after shuttle touchdown. All right, here we go. Alright, since this is a Cerberus operation, for strange reasons, Cerberus seems to be very uh, altruistic right now and wanting to save colonists. Although Cerberus does seem to be, you know, have the human agenda, you know, at heart. So we're going to go with our Cer Cerberus operatives. And, uh, there's no leveling up at this time. Well... Okay, we can give Miranda some more warp. And Jacob. I'm just gonna hold on. <laughs> we'll just hold on till later. All right, uh, Shepard, Vindicator Battle Rifle. Do I wanna keep that? Let's see if we can use the Matok. All right, so he's got the Locust, Carnifex, good, good. All right, everything looks good here, good here, let's go. All right, here Morning. we are. Two missiles are approaching target. Looks like a firefight. Not sure how long ago. Uh-oh. Stay down. All right, so we have the infamous Matok. And I have to say, um, I don't know, the Vindicator, the, the, the burst fire. Assault rifle's not that bad. Oh, I forget we're on a timer. It's not that bad. Got it! Oh! 
Oh! You're not kidding. Pull, Jacob. Uh, Miranda, I guess this is to just warp him. Alright, what else have we got? I might have to put my barrier up. How much time do we have? Two minutes. Barrier up. Credits. Let's look at this kill switch. Oh boy. residential district okay so I can't do both let's save the capital city that did it some uh, level up points here from doing this. All right, prevented Batarian radicals from destroying a colony on Franklin. Protected colony's residential core. Thousands of lives saved. But this doesn't mention all the lives that were lost at the other facility that we couldn't stop the attack. Anyhow, you know, this is kind of whitewashing the severity of this incident. Alright, so credits, we got 7,500. 
Palladium, we got 2,000. That's it. Let's go back to the Normandy. We've gotten the side missions out of the way for the moment. Now it's time to start doing some of the more main missions. And we will continue with that in our next episode. This is Hill. And I'm out.